Hello everyone, it's Dan here from Thomas Road Support. In this video, I'm just going to take you through using the pricing tables with Stack for WordPress. Okay, so uh, we're looking at the demo page here, which is all provided with a theme. You can see we've got quite a few different styles and layouts to choose from. And in this video, we're just going to show you how they work. Um, it is important to point out that, uh, as you see in the demo, certain styles of uh, li uh, uh, pricing lists don't use all of the fields, uh, by which I mean You'll see here in this list style, there is no button. Uh, so although you will find when you are creating a pricing table, there is a field for the button. Uh, what, you, what you'll see is certain styles of pricing table simply doesn't display them. So obviously take a look at the demo data and, and pick the most relevant style for what you're aiming for. Anyway, let's give you an idea of how these work. Let's just edit the page and I'll just scroll past all the demo content. And I'm going to add in my own section down here and actually before I add a pricing table I'm just going to split this row into three columns just using Visual Composer's settings and within each column I'm going to prop in a, pop in a pricing table okay I'm just going to randomly fill this information in just so you can see where it all is displayed some random blurb okay so let's update the page and refresh on the front end and take a look what we've got Okay, so using the standard layout, you can see we've got the title, currency, price, text, you know, everything, everything's all shown there. Um, if we wanted to change that, for instance, to be the list style, or clone the one we've made and pop it into the row next to it. If we go down into the display type and choose, oops, sorry, list. We scroll down again there we go so you can see we've got the the top uh, title price etc all still there but there is no button now that is by design there isn't a bug so uh, like you see in the demo this particular style of pricing table does not have the button there and uh, now you may be wondering why this text doesn't look like a nice sexy list like uh, like you see here and that's uh, basically because the content that we've used isn't in list form now by which I mean we edit that block what happens is the um, as you create a list in there each list becomes an item on in the area so if I just quickly create a list the same way you would with any content or any kind of WordPress theme just going to give that a list save and update we'll refresh the page and there we go. You can see each of those lines has now become a list item. And there we are. Uh, it's all very simple. Uh, obviously, you do, do some experimentation with it so you can uh, kind of see what you can do with them. Uh, I hope this video has been useful. If you have any problems or any questions, do come see me over at support. Thanks for watching.